What's up, guys? So, here we are again. We're going to be checking out uh, Maui United's second forest map, which is the Redwood Forest Biome. Now, I'm creating something again, like a new short, and I decided to go ahead and get this environment, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, the screenshots were taken cinematic render settings using screen space GI. So, man, this right here looks fantastic. So I have it open already here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the third-person input.ini available for you guys to download, and all you have to do is copy and paste it to this page. So pretty much your projects, and then the project config and paste the input so you can kind of walk around here. So if I press play, I can actually walk around using Maui's third-person character here, using my keyboard. Um, I mean, you can set it up if you want using the third-person uh, content, but if you're too lazy, you just copy and paste that so you have the controls. Uh, to change that, go to Edit, uh, Project Settings, and if you go to Input here, so you can see the axis mapping, it's already all set up, but whenever you get the map or that environment, it's gonna not going to be set up unless you set it up here or just download and copy and paste, like I said. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and walk around this. It's a really nice asset. Again, super photorealistic. Uh, like I said previously, I'm not affiliated with him whatsoever or the company. I'm just really uh, trying to promote them so maybe they can get enough money to make keep making uh, amazing assets. And it is a little bit too dark here. So let me go ahead and take a look at the post-processing. And it looks like... He has one for regular and winter, and we'll take a look at the winter again. So exposure, I'll just set this to manual and just turn it up. So you can see it a little bit better. Now make this smaller, and I have my FPS right here just so that I can monitor that. And I have DLSS as well just to help us out with uh, this thing. So I'm going to go performance right now. DLSS on. And let's go ahead, just walk around here. There you go, all the assets are loaded. I mean, look at this thing. That looks so good. So if you ever need, like, a forest type of environment... Actually, it has collision? Yeah, it looks like it has collision. You can see that thing move whenever I hit it. Uh, if you ever need, like, a forest environment kind of scene, man... Look no further. This thing is amazing. And if you want, you can even add some Mega Scans asset in here to make it a little bit better. But good God, this freaking map just looks amazing. Yeah, has cool assets in there. Now, like I said, he has a couple of more maps, and we're just going to be taking a look at all of them. And there's a little bit of waterfall right here, which is so nice. Look at this. This is so cool. I mean, the water looks kind of iffy, but look at this. This is freaking dope. And I'm going to go ahead and change the DLSS. It looks like our computer is not really suffering too much, so I'm going to turn it off or turn it to quality. There you go. I'm going to change the camera speed. Let's walk around, man. This is so nice. Now, I can't wait until other artists start creating um, photorealistic assets like this for Unreal Engine Place. Like I said, this is probably, his stuff is the most photorealistic environment you can get in Unreal Engine Marketplace. But just think, five years from now, there's going to be a lot, there are going to be a lot more artists switching over and maybe some indoor assets are going to look like this. I mean, look at this. It just looks so freaking amazing. Okay. Drop right here. And it's going to drop me here. Doesn't take that much to load. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at... So let's go ahead and take a look at the winter scene here. Uh, like I said previously, it's pretty easy to switch that stuff over. So go to Redwood Forest, Materials, Master. And I'm going to go to, I believe it's Function. I'm going to go to Winter Snow. MF, MW, Winter Snow. It's going to take us in a blueprint, and we just have to turn these on. I think this is how you turn it on. I'm going to go ahead and check this and save, and this is going to compile shaders. Yeah, it's compiling shaders. 
Okay, looks like the compilation of shaders is finished. And we can go ahead and turn on the snow and let it snow. Oh man, look at this. And the crazy thing about this is you can technically force this entire place to like LOD zero, but it's probably gonna catch your graphics card on fire. And just to kind of show you how big this map is, look at this. This is massive, man. This is massive. It's really cool. I mean, if you want to remove some stuff, if this is too big for you, you just go to the modes and go to like the landscape and just delete some stuff in there if you want. You know, you can delete sections, but we're going to leave it like that for now. Go back to select mode. But yeah, this thing is awesome. So let's go and uh, turn the snow on. Let's go back to the master and go to NPC. Double click this function here. And if you troll down twice, snow multiplier, just crank this up. You're going to see that you're going to start getting snow. This is so cool. Look at this. And you can also press play. I wonder if it has tracks. I, I don't think it's going to. Yeah, it's, it's, you're just asking too much, you know, like footprints and stuff. That's way too much. You're asking too much. Uh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but yeah, so escape. You can turn this entire thing oh, in like a snowy area. Uh, additionally, you can disable, so let's say you want like a different lighting again. Uh, change it over to the winter time. You go to post process volume and if you go to enable here, turn that off and turn this on. And there's also, I think, a skylight. So if I go to the light, you got a skylight winter and a skylight regular. And you go to visibility here. I turn off the regular and I'll, I'll turn on the, the winter one. So, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm just checking out this new map that I'm going to be using for my uh, next short. Looks freaking amazing. Like I said previously, I'm probably going to buy all of his maps uh, one at a time. And this was definitely the next on my list. Uh, that's why I got. So I got three maps from him. The Rock, the Burned Forest, and this right here. Alright guys, if you have any questions, like always, just let me know. And I'll see you guys later.